See that? Bitch. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. I'm a personal trainer. I like shopping and I like reviewing things for you guys sometimes. And today will be another clothing review. I ordered some stuff from Top Shop. There were some hits, there were some misses, a bit of a mixed bag today. I'm excited to show you what I got and what I think. Before we get started though, this video... No? <laughs> please don't click out of the video just because my voice did that. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by my training business, Alexis Claire Fit Training. I have a $10 at home eight week workout guide linked below, so check that out. I'll also have a link to apply for one-on-one -on -one online coaching. So, without further ado, that's like a new thing that I say in my videos. I've never said that before in my life before like this week. Okay, so Topshop. I've never ordered from them before. I've always been very tempted to. I just kind of never got around to it, but I've heard great things about their jeans. Sadly, I did not buy any jeans with this purchase. I mostly got loungewear kind of comfy clothes since we're all quarantined. And if I have one more pair of jeans that I can't wear anywhere, I will lose it. So I mostly got loungewear stuff. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it, so I was really excited. The first thing I wanna say is that my order took forever to get to me. I ordered it and still didn't have a shipping notification two weeks later. So I reached out to their like Topshop help Twitter account, which they were super helpful and nice. And it was shipped out the very next day after I did that. And then after that, I know shipping is kind of delayed during like the time of COVID. So I'll forgive it. It still took almost two weeks to get to me after I got the shipping notification. So I waited a long time for this shit. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this pair of sweatpants I have on my body right here. I love them. <laughs> They're extremely soft. I took them out the bag and I went, oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Like the second my hand touched the material, I was like, oh, oh fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. These are my new quarantine pants. So I haven't taken them off since. I usually would have dressed up a little more for you guys, but I, I could not peel them off my body. I believe I got a size four. I'll put all my sizes next to the links down below of what I got, just in case I like misstate what size I got. But I got a size four and they're pretty big as you'll see in the try on portion. That's kind of what I want in a pair of sweatpants. So I think they're the perfect size. They're nice and high-waisted and they have pockets. And I like this little, like, this little detail with the, can you see? It has like a little seam situation. I don't know, I like them. I'd recommend, they don't feel cheap at all. They feel very high quality. Next, I got these pants. On the website, I thought they'd be like, I don't know, I thought they'd be a different material, but that's an error on my part. They're kind of like a, like a cargo material. I really like the color. The color really speaks to me. The fit is a little not my favorite just because the waist, I got a size four in these two. The waist is extremely tight, like makes my skin buckle over kind of tight but then the actual pants part are very big so they're not super flattering because it like really squeezes my skin up here and then like you can't even see my butt or anything because they're huge in the legs so I couldn't have sized up anymore really so I think they'll be cute for like Instagram pictures and stuff because of the color but I don't think I'd wear them out I'm not sure honestly so these get like a C these get an A though. Okay, next I got this cute little crop top. It was a sale item. It's just, it was one of those like me being weak when I'm checking out and seeing that there's an $8 crop top and just like, I have 
to cart, you know? It's just a little purple cropped t-shirt with a cute little snake embroidered on it. It's not my favorite. <laughs> it feels and fits like a sale item. It is not very soft material. I got this in a size 4 too. It was very hard for me to get it over my head. Like I have already have like makeup caked on there because there was no way for it to get over my head without it like scraping my face. Like I know I work out but my guns are not big enough to where this part, the sleeve, should be as tight as it is. It's like restricting blood flow kind of tight. So I'll probably just like do that and then it'll probably be fine. I do this to a lot of my clothes. Some of you hate that. Some of you are cringing, but it probably will fit so much better now. I don't know if I'd recommend. It is cute though. Like even with these sweatpants, like y'all are gonna see this exact look on Instagram. I promise you that. Next, I got this little cropped t-shirt and this is a different story. This one, I very, very much like. It's very, very soft. It'll go with anything. It has a cute little design on it with a moon and some flowers. What bitch doesn't like a moon and flowers? And it's like this charcoal gray, like look cute with this, look cute with these orange pants. It'll look cute with anything and it's super soft. My new quarantine t-shirt right here. I recommend. Next, I got this. This is the only not really loud, besides the orange pants, it's the only not like, not loungewear that I got. It's this open back tank top that I'm just obsessed with right now. I really like it. It is very thin, so I can just throw pasties on and call it a day, but for those of you who are more blessed than I am, you may have more of a boob issue in this. The back is completely open. You can tie it to be different sizes, obviously. So yeah, I really like it and I'll wear it this summer if I can leave my house. So I recommend that one. The next, the, or this is the last thing I got. I've been looking for like some cute cow print accessories because they're, that print is kind of in right now. So I got these cow print socks. I don't like them. They feel very cheap. On the website, it looked like it'd be more brown. Like I like the brown cow print vibe. These are just black. And the worst part is that I didn't know there was gonna be like this glitter at the, look, there's already like fucking strings coming out of here. You see that? Bitch. Yeah, these are clearly not well made at all. Like, that's not comfortable. Look at all these fucking strings in here. And then they have this glittery band at the top that I hate. They also have the glitter on the toes. I hate this. So I'm not really excited about the socks. I don't recommend these socks. They might be cute with some like Air Force ones or in my Converse, but I really don't like the glitter at the top. So I probably won't wear them. <laughs> also like the strings in there will definitely piss me off. So. And that's it. That's what I got. So basically I recommend a few things and don't recommend a few things. I will link everything down below along with what size I got. If you want to get something, just be prepared to wait a little while before it gets to you. I've also done a garage clothing review and a Princess Polly review, which I will link down below. Oh, and I did a Zara and Nasty Gal review. Do I even know my own channel? I don't think I do. So I'll link all of those reviews down below. I very much like buying shit and then reviewing it. So if you have another clothing store you'd like me to cover, just let me know. If you know of any like specific specifically ethically sourced clothing band, bands, brands, let me know. Like I'm thinking about doing cotton on. I've had a, some good experiences and some bad experiences with cotton on. So I've been considering doing a haul review from there because their st stuff is ethically sourced. Let me know. Love you so much. Hope you're doing okay. Hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Alexis Claire Fit. And that's it. That's all. I hope you have a great day. Talk soon. Okay, bye.